Hey guys, Professor Bill of Comic Book University and Star Trek Next Generation Through the Mirror, issue number one. Now you know what this is, right? Through the Mirror. Dude, this is the direct follow-up to the Mirror Broken uh, Next Generation story that just had just concluded like two, three months ago, something like that. And we've been dying for the net for the follow-up, which they promised. Um, they, they had to do it. There was going to be riots. There were going to be riots. Anyway, um, so that was an amazing five-issue limited series where we got to see the, the Dark Universe version of the Next Generation characters. Now, over here, this is going to be a direct follow-up to that. I don't know how long this is going to go for, but... Yeah, the worst part of this comic book, as I'm reading it with, you know, shaking with anticipation, the worst part of this comic book was the last page. Why? Was the last page horrible? No, there was no page after that. So the worst part of this comic book was that it ended. That's literally the only bad thing I could possibly say about this comic book. And you're going to see how IDW has already corrected that closer to the end of this video. So check this out. What we get is Lieutenant Worf, our Lieutenant Worf. Okay, in, in, in this universe, yes, this universe, because I'm in the United Federation of Planets, darn it. The idea is, in the regular Next Generation universe, Lieutenant Worf and two red shirts, oh yeah, one of them's going to die. They're, they're wearing red shirts. It's, it's a big bullseye target, you know? So they're, they're in this, uh, this new facility. It's a mining facility. There's a whole bunch of cool things, and they're down here for a follow-up security check. Uh, he didn't anticipate problems, Worf, but, he, you know, of course there could be. So dude comes out to meet him and he's like, oh yeah, you know, this place was actually really important in rebuilding after the, the, the huge battle with the Borg in uh, Wolf 359. Um, that was a great reference. If you don't know anything about the universe or don't know enough about the universe, it's not a big deal. You don't need to. There was a huge battle in Wolf 359 and here you go. If you wanted to know and you don't know, here's what happened. <laughs> this is uh, Deep Space Nine was a, a huge aspect of this, um, that, that TV series for Star Trek, Deep Space Nine. Um, Captain Sisko, Avery Brooks, totally awesome, uh, his wife actually died in the battle of Wolf 359 where the Borg attacked and Lucutus was actually part of that. Uh, Captain Picard from Next Generation when he became a Borg. So that's the reason why he always had this issue with uh, with Captain Picard. And it made for such amazing storytelling, dude. Anyway, so that's the reference if you didn't get it. So after that bout, this, this place was very important in, you know, dilithium crystals of all things, but many other ores to mine. So uh, they're down here doing an inspection. Then they're saying, hey man, there seems to be an issue here. Oh, also, there's a direct reference to another comic book, Star Trek and um, um, uh, uh, Doctor Who Assimilation. So obviously this had to do with the Borg. That sounds cool. I did not read it. Did, did, did this comic book suffer because of that? No, not even a little bit. But it's a reference to this place uh, was actually mentioned before in issue number two of that limited series. Freaking awesome. That's awesome. So if you did read that whole series, this is just a quick little way to ground you a little bit more and be like, oh, wow, yeah, I remember reading about that place. If you didn't, it's like, okay, big deal. Maybe I'll go back and read that. Maybe I won't. Who cares? That is awesome. For future reference, that is how you write a comic book. That is how you write a comic book. It's extra, you know, benefit for those of us who do know the stuff. And it's nothing. It's no hindrance whatsoever if we don't. Perfect. Could not ask for any better. Okay, so Worf starts looking around and he sees this guy, uh, uh, Lieutenant Jones, I think from engineering. He's like, what, what is this guy doing here? Why does he suddenly have a, a facial hair? He never had facial hair before. He's clean shaven. So he goes and he starts following this dude and the guy starts shooting at him. It's like, ah, oh boy, you've been spotted. Well, it turns out this guy's obviously from the Mirrorverse, all right? So he's trying to get away. All of a sudden, he uh, one of the red shirts gets shot. And it looks like it's he's been shot by Riker and, and Jordy LaForge from the Dark Universe. And they see that. And it's like, what? And you get to see these guys as they're as they're they're phasing up, phasing away, as they're beaming up. Oh man, oh man, that's crazy. So obviously I gave you the very short synopsis, full of a major spoiler towards the end of this, but it's cool. It's just the first episode. If, if this were a free comic book day episode, I could have been more excited for this. This was amazing. It gets better. There's a follow-up story. There's a backup story in here, which is actually the beginning of uh, the introduction of what happened in between the last 
issue, the last series, that limited series, Mirror Broken, and this one, Through the Mirror. Now, it's obviously you see why it's called Through the Mirror, right? They were able to penetrate into the regular um, Next Generation universe. How did that happen? Well, they don't tell you in the backup story here. What they do is they give you the seed for how it started how they came upon it, you know, the, the, the seeds that brought us, brought them to the level where they would eventually find out how to get here. So it looks like there's gonna be backup stories. Oh, and it's drawn by Woodward, the original artist from the, the previous uh, limited series, which was amazing art. And I'm not, I'm not bashing the art in this dude. I'm not at all. This is much more colorful. Like it, it, you could actually see the stuff, you know, in, in a, in a regular light, um, gorgeous. But again, the original art was just something that was so damn dark. So I'm kind of hoping that what they're going to do is, while they're in the, the the broken mirror universe, the mirror broken universe, I hope that Woodward keeps coming back and writing this because, oh my God, or, or drawing this because this is, this was the, this was part of why we love this stuff so much. Man, this was so good. So the comic book just keeps on getting better. Uh, obviously, I'm giving this an A+. Plus. I mean, there's... Come on. This gets an A+. Plus. I wish I could go higher, like bonus material. Well, it actually does get even better than that. Remember how I said this this series, the worst part of this issue was that it ended? You know, the, or the, there was the, the final page and no more pages afterwards? Don't worry. Apparently, this right here, it's a weekly comic. Yet yeah, for May, at least, this is going to come out every week. That's what they say in the back of the book. Oh my God, IDW, thank you. Thank you for this, this blessing that you have bestowed upon us. We're not worthy. This is not the comic book that we, I don't know, I don't remember how that Batman saying goes. Not the one you deserve, but it's the one you're going to get. Anyway, whatever it is, this, this is awesome. This is so epically awesome. What a very worthwhile successor in the very, uh, very inception at the very least to that Broken Mirror universe. Oh my God, this is so good. Every single aspect of this comic book, having the regular universe drawn in the regular, you know, in, in regular uh, print that they do. Oh yeah, that's Jones with the facial hair. You know what I'm saying? Is just perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. And then having uh, the, the backup story that has the, uh, uh, the Mirror Broken stuff, excuse me, the Dark Universe stuff in it. Just look at that art. Look at Inquisitor Troy. How you doing, baby? But I mean, oh, God, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. This this is, right now, this is the best thing IDW is doing. I'm putting it out there. All right, guys, uh, that's it for me. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.